impressive as well. Oh, point, uh, or 90 basis points is the biggest drop. Well, covering this story for us today is our business editor, Brian Quinn, who's with me. And uh, Brian, the one on everybody's lips today really is contagion. Could the failures at these banks in the United States really start to spread? That's a big question. U.S. stock markets are about midway through their trading day right now. So what are we seeing for the moment? So, Nadia, the real focus of the worry amid these banks' failures is not so much the Wall Street behemoths who uh, nearly crashed the world economy in 2008, but rather small and uh, medium-sized banks. Their shares are getting uh, hammered today. Uh, a number of stocks actually temporarily paused their trading due to extreme drops. Now, speculation has been rife that the California-based First Republic Bank could be the next domino to fall. Its shares fell nearly 75% at the open before being paused. They're down around 65% now. PacWest uh, currently down just over 30% after trading was resumed. Zion's Bank Corp uh, is down around 18%. Retail investment stalwart Charles Schwab uh, shares are down looks like more than 9.5%. Now, all those shares are pairing even and steeper losses earlier. Meanwhile, the major U.S. banks like uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, and Bank of America have seen their shares take a significantly milder investment. It pays a bit of interest. The bonds are easily sellable on the secondary market should the bank need to raise cash. The problem comes when the Federal Reserve starts to rapidly raise interest rates, now including on its own.